to my channel if you follow me throughout my vlogs you've seen recently that I did have a miscarriage with my recent pregnancy and this video is just a little like my miscarriage story and my life after having a miscarriage with my emotions and my relationship and how everything is going so I wanted this video to be very raw I have no makeup on I literally just jumped out of the shower I had I was in the shower and I was just thinking of everything that I wanted to say and honestly I cannot be bothered to put makeup on I've only put makeup on once during this whole situation and um yeah I just wanted this to be a hundred percent me and my feelings I'll probably cry and I feel like I'm gonna start crying now I actually haven't cried for a few days because I'm just trying to be as positive as I can. So I was seven weeks and I think four days when I found out that I was going through a miscarriage. So it's been about a week and a half since I found out on the 18th of February, which was a Sunday morning, I woke up. And I was getting like random pain on the side of my stomach. And I got that a few times throughout that week, but I just didn't think much of it. I just thought it was just like body growing pregnancy pain. Um, and then I went to the bathroom and I was bleeding, but it was only lightly. Prior to that, I probably, the Monday before that, I did go for my dating scan and when I went in, the technician couldn't find the baby. There was a sack, but no baby. He said that I was probably earlier than what I thought I was, but I knew my period dates, but I could have ovulated later on in that cycle. But from that moment, I knew something was wrong. And so I had to rebook a ultrasound for two weeks in advance, but I already lost the baby before that when i went in for that dating scan he did tell me that i had a hemorrhage above the baby which he shouldn't have told me he should have told me that but what he said next he shouldn't have told me he said if you're bleeding it's from that so don't worry not don't tell me that um i bled throughout the pregnancy with zendaya um so i would always Probably 98% go into the hospital to double check the, about the bleeding. Definitely the first time you bleed. I remember when I bled with Zendaya. I just thought I, that was it. I lost her. Um, but with this one, I knew something was wrong. I went to the emergency room and they did blood work and they were fine. And But the day before, I did get results for my blood work just for, through my doctor with my HCG levels. That is Zendaya banging on the wall in her room. Um, so within 24 hours, they did drop. So, you know, every, I think it's like every 48 hours, your HCG levels are supposed to rise. And when they drop, it can possibly mean you are miscarrying. The hospital really didn't do shit. And we went home. So when... But they did book me... They booked me in an appointment for a specialist that does uh, internal scanning because for some reason the hospital couldn't do it and so the following Monday I went into the appointment and I've documented all this throughout my videos I went in by myself um, my mum had Zendaya and Mas was at work which was fine um, it would have been great if he was there but I knew he needed to be at work and I knew because he was so close to home that day if anything was wrong he would come home we just sat down and she went through like some paperwork and then when i told her my hcg levels dropped she just said well it looks like you're miscarrying and then they did an internal and i was miscarrying so literally i bored my eyes out in that appointment 
and I felt so stupid because I didn't know this woman and she was apologizing about everything and I just didn't care about her apology as rude as that sounds but I text Mars and I said can you please meet me at home I cried from walking to my car driving home and then when Mars came home I literally bored my eyes out I asked him can he go pick Zendaya up because I just didn't want to see anyone and when I saw her I just lost it she I just I appreciate her a hundred percent like I appreciate her obviously but I it's just that oh, like that oh I got her and I'm so lucky so that is what happened with my miscarriage it wasn't a dramatic story um, I don't want pity but I know that miscarriages I think happen in one in four pregnancies and it's very common I I know people that's had miscarriages and I would have never known how they felt and then now I'm going through it. I know how it feels. Even though I was so early in the pregnancy. I lost my baby. I've joined a few like miscarriage support groups on Facebook and it's just we all share the same emotions. Like, after a miscarriage, you feel like you failed that baby. Your body rejected your child. Then you feel like, you, why why did this happen? I said in a vlog, like, we're good people and something like this happens. And it's hard because you find out that you're pregnant and then you just you get so excited and all you want to do is buy baby things and you want to do the nursery and you see your future like I had Mas and Zendaya and then I saw my future with this other baby and it's just taken away from you and it's just pure like I was so angry and I was so upset. It was it's just a whirlwind of mixed emotions. Um I don't know if this video is going to make sense <laughs> go in sort of like a flow. I'm just going to spit out what I'm thinking because this is how I want my channel to be. I don't want to edit too much. I don't want to when I do these set down videos, I want them to be as raw as possible. So my life after miscarriage, so it's only been a week and a half. I have felt like a complete failure. I feel like I failed myself, I failed my baby and I failed my family because I couldn't provide them with this baby. I have been bleeding for, I think it was day 10 and I'm doing it naturally so when you do it naturally you tend to bleed out everything um, the Sunday that just passed it was the most heaviest and crampiest I've ever experienced and it is just literally as bad as it sounds I just want the bleeding to be over I want I just want this miscarriage to be done with I'm over it it's a constant reminder every time I go to the bathroom that I'm miscarrying because I'm bleeding and it's so bloody heavy and it's so annoying. Um, it was my personal choice to do the natural way and I'm happy I did. And with the mixed emotions, I've I've literally just been home. I'm bit turned into a homebody even more than what I am because I just don't want to leave the house and face people and I don't want to be out there while I my body is physically going through this miscarriage because you never know what's going to happen. Um, I have ventured out of the house the past two days, which have been amazing. I've gone to the gym. Um, I've gone to, I've been doing F45, but I changed gyms for the next few months because F45 is hardcore and I still want to work out, but go at my own pace. And I just want to be by myself and I'm not ready to face people because they obviously know what I've experienced. And it's really hard with people going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm not ready to face all that. I've had it a few times now. But like, just 
I know when I go to the gym, it's just going to be one after another. It's just going to be too much for me. And my brain is all up in the air because this doctor didn't tell me much about my miscarriage. I don't know what type of miscarriage it is. I don't know what to do once I finish bleeding. Do I go to the doctors and get my HCG levels checked? I did take a pregnancy test yesterday and it's still coming back positive. So obviously there is some amount of HCG levels in my body. But I'm just, we've decided that once the bleeding stops, and probably get a first period we are going to try straight away we wanted to have a baby this year or like we really want to give Zendaya a sibling and that's what we're going to do um it might take a little bit longer I'm not going to try not to stress about it because I feel like I see on these pages of these miscarriage support groups these women become obsessed with the process of falling pregnant after a miscarriage and I totally understand it but like they're tracking like I will be tracking my period so I know I've got an app on my phone waiting for my next period just so I know the dates and when I could possibly be ovulating but there's a lot of women that like take it the next level and they're tracking all these things and I honestly cannot be bothered to do that I am going to put it out in the universe and I'm so lucky that I have Zendaya and so blessed to have her and all I want to do is grow our family and give her brothers and sisters. I just, miscarriages just fucking suck. They're bitter bullshit and they don't know why people miscarriage. It is very common. I'm a mum of two. One is physically not going to be here and I will never forget that baby. I'm thinking of getting like a little tattoo here, like a big love heart with a little heart on the inside. Um, I do have a necklace coming. I do have like a necklace with a circle with a Z on it for Zendaya. And then I did order another one with a star sign of the month that the baby was going to be born in, which was going to be October. If you are going through a miscarriage, you are not alone. A lot of women go through this but your miscarriage is you and that's what I found to be something whoops was when people found out they go oh that it's so common like but this isn't my miscarriage I know it's common but it's, let me just have my miscarriage if that sound I think if you've been through it you understand after all this bleeding and all this bullshit to my body is over and today was the first time I feel okay um accomplished i did go to the gym yesterday and just sort of like pondered around the gym and try to figure out things because it was my first time there but today i actually went in and did a workout and working out really really clears my mind so make sure you check out my previous videos my blogs of my miscarriage experience one of them is super emotional and it's hard for me to watch it now but I just want to be here for you women it is really hard and I don't think no one would understand until they experience a loss like this because it's a child you'll never meet it's really really difficult and really really hard oh my god but I do want to say thank you so much for everyone that has reached out to me and made sure I'm okay and offered to do wonderful things for me and I truly truly appreciate it times like this really show who's really there for you yes i just want to say thank you so 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 much and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for my trying for baby number two follow my journey bye guys